All right, all right, all right. Cheers, everyone. Welcome back. Welcome back, then. Uh, welcome back to Dwarf Fortress. Let's go back to Deep Town. Deep Town and see. See how everything is working. I think one thing I need to do is prepare more bedrooms. Bedrooms, but then it's a little bit of a waiting game for my smelting and forging to really pick up that we can actually put our military wearing steel and then we can start thinking about how we how we clear the caverns caverns a little bit because uh, caverns are full of um, full of cavern dwellers what's the well this is one of the locations so we have a ton of these uh, cave swallow men and women uh, spear spear users and blowgun users and uh, the third layer third cavern layer is like full of full of these ones and uh, because they are not that aggressive uh, we kind of need to go kind of need to go hunt for them one thing I was thinking about that we could actually carve and smooth these cavern walls and then have our crossbow dwarves kind of uh, maybe train here or even occasionally go check them and then they could just shoot them uh, shoot them through. However, these guys do have the blow gunners, so uh, in case they are like really good at it, uh, they would actually probably beat my beat my uh, Marx dwarves with that. But that's one of the one of the things I'm thinking about that's how how would we how do, how how would we handle this but um, we'll we'll see because it's uh, it seems that while while our minecart minecart grinder was very 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 successful in getting them uh, some of them just stayed here hanging around they are just here not doing anything and uh, because they are not even moving much we are not getting they are they are not hitting hitting anything so i would actually have to go here stop the mine carts go with my go with my dwarves and clean this place if i open open the dogs place again then there's a danger that uh, what i would rather do is have my military standing in here and then uh, then let them walk through the traps and deal with whatever comes through the traps on this side, and then uh, then we would probably open open this way here, have the military train train and uh, open the hatch covers and uh, and all that. But before before that, let's see, let's make sure all of these guys have good uniforms. So uh, let's do a new one. So let's remove all this and do uh, uniforms replaces clothing, and we do. Let's actually start with. Uh, uh, let's start with uh, with low boots, chain leggings, and helmets, mail shirts, breastplates. Gauntlets and a shield. Uh, is that everything I think it is apart from individual choice of melee weapons? Um, the problem is, as soon as I assign this to them, they will drop all their clothes and we don't have enough stuff for them yet. So, do I actually want to edit this yet? You know what? I probably want to wait. Let's just add. A, let's add a uniform and uh, use it later. Uh, replaces clothing. So let's do male shirts and breastplates, chain leggings, low boots, helms and gauntlets, and a shield. An individual choice of melee. And this would be a steel melee uniform. And then, actually, for 
Let's see, have we have we received some uh, some marks dwarves? Marks dwarves from the other other forts. Yes, we have actually. Uh, the golden card here is uh, is an old one. Old one from wood fights. So what happens is that the dwarves actually keep their old. They keep their old um, old squads from uh, from the previous forts, which is kind of it's a little bit weird, but that's uh, that's how it works. So we have uh, we have Homeric here, who's a legendary sword dwarf. So let's add, add them to this squad. Then uh, we also have uh, right. We haven't actually named every everyone yet, so we need to do that as well. Uh, that one is a new one, and I guess we need a... I guess we need a new... new squad as well, to have, uh, have all these guys in. Yeah, and that's why they were naked, because they, uh, they tried to put the uniform Uniform from their old, old squad. We have one guy there as well. Uh, that one is okay. Yeah, we have a uh, we have this guy. This guy who could actually. Hmm. Yeah, you know what's one thing. One thing I, that reminded me is that we, we will name some dwarves. So actually, this one, this one seems to be naked. So I think they were just added to that squad. It was a reason why, and I forgot to nickname. Uh, legendary axe dwarf. All that stuff. So this one will be uh, this one will be the ice beam. Nice beam, and they they did come with a husband, husband as well. Yeah, they are now going into the military. Hopefully, they will find some clothes to put clothes for themselves. Uh, what else do we have here? We have a legendary armorsmith, weaver, weaponsmith, high master cook, high master bone doctor, master surgeon. These migrants from a from an old old fort I built are just incredible. They they know a lot of things. So this one will be the game. The gaming and uh, I'm feeling randy today. Let's do that and that. Next one, so Akun, Akuno, we, I think we still had some unnicknamed ones, right? Yep. Legendary Dyer, Legendary Mechanic, High Master Weaponsmith, uh, also part of a, part of an old squad, so that they will, they will probably put them into leading, leading the second squad. Let me check their skills. Um, yeah, a decent teacher. Teacher, and they can definitely learn. They were using a maze, I see. They will probably go into different discipline, maybe a hammer. Hammer at this time. Yeah, this one will be uh, uh, a Guno. No, uh, no wife or uh, or husband. Yeah, we need to we need to put this one in a in a square. But let's see, do we have other nicknamed, unnicknamed ones? One mechanic there, a doctor, and I think that is it. So uh, mechanic will be a chuckle. Let's 
legendary mechanic, legendary cook, legendary weaponsmith, legendary organizer. That is insane. They must have been our bookkeeper. Bookkeeper and wood fights. Uh, I don't see them having organizing otherwise, unless they are... Well, actually, they. I think they get the organizing skill from their guild. So they have been teaching, like, mechanic or weaponsmithing, and uh, they have... Uh, they are like incredibly good at teaching others, organizing the demonstrations. White beads, amazing. Ice beams, uh, ice beams husband. And then I saw the one doctor without a nickname, so this one will be, one will be Ixtral. And uh, after that, the queue is actually empty. So if you are there watching slash listening to the stream right now uh, do do join the queue if you are not in this uh, in this fort yet and uh, that way I have a ready ready name ready list of names when we get more dwarves because at the moment everyone is named so it's kind of cool and also we should go check out the kit because we do need to bury that kit and then uh, then put them in uh, would uh, make them a slap. So let's go see. Oh yeah, they have they have definitely died. They have definitely died. Um, yeah, let's uh, let's open one of these. Yeah, that might actually give some bad. Uh, that might have actually given some bad thoughts if, if we don't quickly bury that one because they were someone's kid and uh, sadly I don't, now don't remember who it was I should have checked and um, and uh, yeah we need to quickly bury them before they before they rot because um, that will give like super bad thoughts for uh, for the dwarves so let's do a, let's do a burial we don't even. We don't. Of course, we don't. Of course, we don't have that. Uh, wrong coffin. Let's do maybe. Let's keep those little bits in stock. So let's do. Let's do. We have a couple of. Couple of those in the, in the stocks, and uh, right now let's. Oops, it's the wrong key. Let's do it. Uh, let's do one coffin quickly. One coffin quickly, and. Let's build a craft swaps workshop in here. I don't think we got the message yet that the kid has been missing for a week. Oh, cavern explorer cat died. No, rip cat. Rip cat explored or the whole whole first cavern to us. Yeah, we, we have so much combat going on that uh, if something if, if a bad combat happens somewhere I will just miss it because we have so many of the cavern dwellers. Uh I will actually cancel this one. So the jobs will go elsewhere. Can someone come come mind this and the the stench of the of the kit <laughs> will come out? Yeah, 
minutes. Here we go. The Bosun has been found dead, dehydrated. On purpose, because we didn't have shells for their strange mood. The one thing, the one thing we didn't have, and couldn't couldn't get in time with uh, with the means we have. So let's do let's do a coffin, right? Can can someone like make it like fast, please? Haul it, haul it, haul it, haul it, haul it. Come on, put it in the stockpile already. Thank you. It is a tomb, it is a tomb, it is a tomb for the kid. Ripperino kid. It's just also a remind me that we do have one slap to make. Wait, Sarvesh Nukoroslan. Sarvesh. I never placed, never placed a slap for the for the one dwarf who uh, gave the, gave their life when. Uh, wait a minute, they were Stukos as well. No, Stukos and Sarvesh. I was thinking, I was like, wait a minute, <laughs> are we lo always losing the dwarves with same names? Okay, but they are they are now properly buried, so we will not have uh, the kid haunting the place. And um So that is that is good. That is good. Okay, 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 okay. How are the steel jobs? Still being cancelled a little bit. It's on. All oh, right, 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 right. This. There is that always with engraving of the slabs. So this one needs to also be able to take from. Furniture stockpile. Actually, is that the only? Is that the only thing that needs? Yeah, that's the only thing. You know what? Uh, let's have. Let's have a stockpile in here and a stockpile in here. That we will put the slabs in. And probably tables maybe as well. So this will be... This will not be slabs anymore. Because... We will instead have a stockpile in here that... Uh, stone worker can use.
drop all these rocks. So a wheelbarrow there, so there's probably a stockpile that was for some reason they were dumping the wheelbarrows. That's again to close the hatch. Just Mike. This fourth lever pulling sometimes takes like a really long time because they are coming like from 100 levels. 100 levels somewhere to, uh, to do those things. Okay, in here, let's secure this one. And drop all the limonite and bitumous coal. And close the shoot again. We are doing this so that dwarves don't get hit by the rocks that are coming down 100 levels from the, from the quarries. And then we uh, open, the, open the doors again. Okay, what's we... What we need to do here is uh, do the do the steel things in a way. That's what is the what is the most important things for us. Uh, we want them to have helmets, so this should have the lowest lowest amount of uh, steel bars needed. So let's keep that at ten. Then after that, I want them to have. Oh wait, did I not make low boots here? I was about to say that I want them I want them to especially have low boots, but I didn't even make an order for that yet, did I? Helm gauntlet mail shirt leggings pressed by shield, yep. Steel low boots. Four. So, 10 steel bars, low boots, uh, at least at most. And I want this to be triggering basically if... Uh, actually, let's, let's put this at 10. This at 10, we will trigger the helms at, uh, helms at 6 already. So we do that. When we get this rolling, this can be this can be much much easier. Here's the deal with basically they should do the helms and low boots. Then I want them to do want them to do the leggings and then the mail shirts, then the gauntlets, breastplates, so on. So then we do the leggings. Do it first. Uh, yeah, ten and ten. Then we do the leggings. This will be 12 steel bars at least, so it triggers later. Uh, male shirt will be uh, will be 16. Contacts will be done when we have surplus because they are not that important. And then finally the breastplates. Breastplate could actually trigger at the same time, but let's do 22. So if we are, if we have a uh, high production of the steel, this will happen faster. But if not, then uh, again, then the the steel, then the weapons, weapons here, I will set them all to be twenty, maybe eighteen. Uh, the steel ones at least. Steel ones here and. Um, So they will they will happen later. And silver silver we don't have at the moment. 
Okay, we are finally getting some toys and mugs made. Luckily, we had some mugs from earlier, but then uh, the new new job was uh, was waiting, and then the kids have not had toys to play with, so that might have an effect that this one kid, one kid is actually the unhappiest one because they have uh, they've not had toys for their whole life in here. Sad times. Actually, I will uh, I'll just bump this quickly to fill this whole place with uh, fill this whole place with magma, so it doesn't need to calculate all the time where the sixes and sevens are. Everything, everything is at sevens, so we don't need to stop any more than that. I uh, need to pump any more than that. Okay, still, still making is working. Working as soon as they get the steel, they should start using that, and they should continue. There should basically be jobs cycling with uh, with big iron and steel all the time. I think I could make this a little bit faster that they continue. Like we would actually do do one batch of big iron extra. Kind of to keep it running. Or we could even even make it twelve. Just have it just have them running. And then as soon as we hit four, the steel job would uh, do that. So that will that will now take uh, take a little while. What do you mean inaccessible? Caravan. Caravan is here. So yeah, this uh, quarry quarry work here is working working really nicely. So they are. They are hauling the hauling the rocks in here and then uh, throwing throwing them down, and uh, yeah, it's it's working working really nicely. Uh, wait, do I have a no? Why have you not mined these? Have we had like higher priority things? That is Ah yeah they are they have it low priority, okay. Explains Explains that as they have been doing 
doing other things because what we could do we could do here as well is make these ones. These ones are a little bit more more accessible as well. Uh, all the quartzite has been has been mined that I have set for that. So let's see. It starts from this level. Do we have anything else below? We only have the gap row. low priority as well, but you can mine these ones. All levels. One Outpo outpost liaison coast bat has arrived. The caravan. I don't need that much stuff from the caravan, I think. That's an old message for the for the migrants. Sarlon has grown attached to the Wait a minute. Why why didn't that mention the name? You still have your epic. Okay. It's a uh, just said steel warhammer, but they actually have the artifact weapon they created themselves. So. That is good. That is good. We have all the all the animals which that we are still <laughs> Still having this <laughs> makeshift pasture on the top. The water buffaloes has been breeding for a couple of years. We have been in this fort, and um, yeah, we we could start eating them for, for sure. And also, I should check the should check the pastures. Let's take the kiwi pups here as well for now, and I should put some of these. Kid, uh, cats and dogs into in the cages for sure. Uh, every time I think about that, I first think that we need to uh, we need to uh, kill them before we uh, go into action. So let's kill the cats. Oh, why? Why why are these in such a weird order every time? Come on, game. Uh, yeah, we have a lot of those water buffaloes. So get the puppies. Uh, let's leave one puppy unkilled. Everything, everyone else killed. Uh, let's leave one. So let's not even leave one kitten. Kitten up. These are just fine. Everything, everything out. And then we have. Uh, why has that not been trained? Where is this dog? Oh, it's this dog. Okay, makes sense. We should actually name that dog to be uh, Top 
topside spotter dog. So we don't uh, we don't confuse ourselves with it. And that dog needs to be killed. At the end we have war training, war training, couple of hunting dogs. Kittens are being killed. It. We have the war dogs here already. Water buffaloes. Yeah, we 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 need to sort out some sort of some sort of pasture into the third layer, closer to us. But uh, the cavern dwellers have not been making the not making that part easy. Whoa, 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 what was that? Jeez, my second monitor went dark for a moment. That does not, like, happened ever. I thought, ev I thought my, uh, <laughs> like, everything, everything died. Uh, no, we are, we are still up. Uh, how old is this fort? Uh, two years? One hundred and... Because we did... No, 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 this is... This is four years now. Did we start at the beginning of 136? Uh, 136. Let me just check one thing. Let's take a look at our... Uh, like... Like Chief Medical Dwarf. Uh, yeah. We started at the end of year 135, so we're actually coming to four years. Four years at the moment. I had the population cap on when we started small. And uh, so some some things have gone like super slow with this. Uh, it's hard to, hard to make things efficient when uh, even that most of our operations is here. There's still stuff... 100 levels up that we need to do like to get the rocks so things kind of things kind of kind of go a little bit slow with this one but it's uh it's fine and also it's literally going down slow because of the cavern dwellers so everything i've been doing in the last last like 12 hours of play in this fort has been working towards getting rid of the cavern dwellers uh, we did have the trap that dealt with some of them and uh, that is actually continuously running, uh, but uh, but yeah, I will I will keep it on just in case it actually would hit some of these guys who are not moving at all because the these bird, especially these swallow swallow men and women, they are not aggressive at all. Like they they are just not moving unless we uh, unless there's something right next to them. And uh, who knows how many cavern dwellers there are invisible in the caverns. So I'm still still hoping for that. Still hoping for that uh, high high powered forgotten beast to come and butcher like thousand of them in the in the caverns. That would be that would be fantastic. Oh oh, all right. That's just the gilding. Uh, Poor, poor plump helmet men having to having to live there with uh, with all those all those cavern dwellers. Okay, so let's do let's do a stockpile in here. This will actually be just slabs, furniture, all none, slapperino, and this will. Give to this one. That will give to this one. As soon as they bring that stuff here, then we can uh, then we can make the slabs. Okay, but let's. Uh, oh. Oh fuck. I ah of course. Can I can I cancel out of this one and talk to you again? Okay, yes, good, good. Because I I want to I want to select a good Baron. 
namely someone who has no preferences, so they will make no demands. Let's, uh, because I think our expedition leader is such that, that they have things, but let's take a look where, uh, where we have them. Expedition leader. Go dependence. They like mail shirts. They are making mail shirts anyway, but then kind of in the long run, it just gets annoying to keep making the same stuff over again. And especially if they have some exotic things here, they might ask us to do some, uh, some really silly, silly things. So let's see. And I, uh, I could also see that, uh, do we have a dwarf who would happen to be happen to be someone who wants to uh, raise their social status or ha have their some 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 dream like that I don't remember what it is exactly but let's see if we have any of those and then if those dwarves happen to be without any um, any item preferences then they wouldn't be asking for any things so what we are looking for is their uh, their values uh depending a bit what they what they do chief medical dwarf mastering a skill crafting a masterwork uh dreams of raising a family how are you doing with that well you do have a family go go at it make make babies a eh, shark ice beam Dreams of oh, dreams of making a great discovery. I have not seen this dream. We need to make a uh, ice beam uh, scholar. That's amazing. That's amazing. Awesome. I have I have not seen the dream. I've not seen the dream before. Uh, yep, ice beam definitely a scholar now. That's that's awesome. It's a good thing I came started uh, started looking into this. Uh, then, uh, let's see, Tia Gaming, no dream. Crafting a masterwork. Restless DK, dreams of raising a family. They do have a lover who's not here, but they, they have not found a lover in this place yet. Hopefully that happens. We have Holski. Dreams of raising a family as well. They have some friends and stuff, but uh, nothing, nothing special there yet. We have Grey Malk. Dreams of creating a great work of art. Uh, our militia commander. Dreams of crafting a masterwork. Code dependent. We already checked. Dream. Piranha Pearl. Dreams of raising a family. They have a lot of close friends and all, but they don't have a lover yet. Or husband slash wife. Uh, Malorpsky. Dreams of raising a family. Also, no husband and all such yet. Fung is trooper. Dreams of raising a family. Doesn't have one yet. Which actually reminds me like we should make a tavern to give them a place to socialize more. Dreams of raising a family. Doesn't have a... Doesn't have anything uh, to wrap Lebo. Mastering a skill. Der Gulf von Mexico. Dreams of raising a family. Has no spouse yet. Chidisler. Dreams of master crafting a masterwork one day. I think they will if they just go and do a weapon. Uh, Mr. Faber. Dreams of creating of mastering family. They do have a wife, so this could happen. Hope they hope they get a kid. Uh, Onyx Hellswine. Ooh, there we go. Dreams of attaining rank in society. This was the one the one I was looking for. So Onyx. Onyx here could be our Baron. Could be our Baron, which would make Sarlon uh Sarlon a Baron consort. But let's see, do they have item preferences? Steel. Ooh. Capro steel. They do have gems. Uh, 
we might get a request for large gems with that. And I think that is that is at the moment bugged in the jewelers. When you are cutting gems, there's a random chance that you would get crafts or large gems, which are just trade items. But uh, I think they are not appearing at the moment, so I think this would be too big of a risk to make them apparent. Uh, other, other than the gems, because I'm, I'm not sure if they if they ask for large gems. Because I think they might, and that's a one of the actually one of the trickiest ones. Even even if it was not bugged, that would be a tricky one. That's an that's an unfortunate thing. I think I'm not sure if you can fulfill this dream with something else, like maybe we would we would make them uh, just militia captain or make them a bookkeeper or just something. Uh, but yeah, uh, okay, so that that's the one I remember, I believe. I guess uh, while I started going through, we can uh, we can do others as well. So we have Invendum, we have AI, Dreams of Crafting a Masterwork, Eep Toaster, Dreams of Raising a Family, Maldini is their husband. So hopefully they will get uh, get uh, get it going on and uh, get some babies. Uh, Akurno is no dream, no dream, and we have Phil. In the phrasing of family, uh, Omeric is their wife, so there's a chance chance they will get a baby, and that's completely wrong. Wrong place. Uh, Maldini. Dreams of raising a family as well. Iptoster um, is there. There one and then uh, USB driver. Masterwork. Jackal. No dream. Sunzi, dreams of raising a family, and this dream was realized. Perfect. Perfect. Uh, Slug Seo, dream of dreams of crafting a masterwork. Niemst, dreams of mastering a skill, and this dream was realized. Perfect. Uh, Triuna Kingdom. Dreams of raising a family, so we have a lot of those. They are Induendum's husband, so that's a, a chance that will happen. x -drill, Dreams of raising a family. No friends or anything yet. Interesting. Eskigner. Creating a great work of arts, and this dream was realized. Perfect. Chetramar. Dreams of raising a family as well. They still have some work to do with that. Chetramar also, also wait, did I check them already? Anyway, also wants to uh, wants to have a family. Here's for Killjoy, mastering a skill. Cingerage. Dreams of mastering a skill in this dream was realized. Legendary Weapon Smith. Max. Dreams of creating a great work of art. Great, great. Rested Bandy. Crafting Masterwork. While, I, while, I'm, while I'm actually doing this, what I could be doing, but I now kind of forget about it. I could have actually been checking their preferences at the same time and make a list of the potential nobles, but of course I didn't do that. So now I have to go through I have to go through them again. Um, unless I... Oh, all right. We already made made Ice Beamer. That's a, that seems to be a rare dream. Making... Um, right, and then we have the kids. I don't think I make the kids a Baron or something. Dream of Crafting a Masterwork. Raising a family. Mastering a skill. Then we have the baby. Dreams of mastering a skill. Yeah, 
So we have only one raising raising a rank. You only have one of great discovery, and then lot of the lot of the families and uh, and other stuff. So that didn't help. Didn't help specifically. So let's see. Well, there is one. There's nothing there that they would ask. Oh no, crutches. Sometimes hard to spot those ones. Uh, bolts. Mm, very, very modest preferences with A shock. Malachite, lay pizza, red cross, and color page. No items. No items. I think we found a winner. They are decent in these skills already. That will that will have an effect on things. Yep, yep, yep. I think I think we have our Baron. Uh, Personally, sees those that attempt to maintain dignified and proper behavior as vain and offensive. Um, turn around after wearing old clothing. Okay, interesting. Uh, how's your clothing now? Okay, it seems seems good. Mm. Oh wait, that's happened in the previous fort. Mm. Just looking at their values a bit. Uh, then they need to go it alone. Grateful when others help out. Tries to return favors. Tends to think before acting. Curious and eager to learn. Somewhat uncomfortable around those that appear unusual or live differently from herself. Mm, okay. Enjoys the company of others. That's good. Uh, doesn't often feel lustful. She doesn't try to get things done perfectly. She can easily fall in love and develop positive sentiments. She's not particularly interested in what others think of her. Okay. Uh, hmm. Here. I think uh, I think Ajak will be our will be our Baroness. Uh, establish this coin as an official land for realm. Uh, I have some recommendations. Uh, e shock. And. Polar bear letter. I uh, just wanted to click on that. Uh, let's get all the. All the. All the arctic ones, polar bear, and uh, I guess we did have wolves as well. Um, can we... Um, sting it, I don't think I can, even if I... Even if we would have fish here, we wouldn't get the shells. That, that can we can we prepare for upcoming strange mood somehow? But that's uh, that's about it. Uh, I will keep on asking for the, for the locks, especially because now after this we will start getting wagons, which is nice. So uh, let's get uh, white, black, and blue, nice colors. I guess we're gonna get the red one as well. Yeah, let's go with those. They want rings and meat. I guess we are gonna trade with them. Uh, especially when the vacants come, I would I would like to have have them have a path down, but uh, I just haven't haven't gotten into assigning that yet. So let's go and uh, move goods in here. It will be mostly once again prepared meals. Let's 
bring enough so we don't need to need to leave anything that we want uh, not traded. So that makes us no, we are not a baron yet. It will actually happen happen after a while. Wonder if they would they like select someone? <coughs> Could they select someone else? They usually go with the su suggestion, but uh, they they still call it a su uh, suggestion. So then uh, we will need to. I think uh, the expedition leader will be the first mayor, and then we will need to have need to build the noble quarters. quarters after that. I see them having some steel on. Uh, we see the copper copper helms and stuff is kind of moving down the line uh, as they are replacing that with steel. So that's kind of working now, right now. So maybe I'm not going to touch those guys at all. I will just assign them new uniform when uh, when I see that they have all all steel. And also, as oh right, no wait, there's a, there's a lot of lot of stuff there that we haven't. I mean, checked. Still waiting for items. Let me go check because I saw those bolts in there. I think I made stockpiles for for these things, but I think I I actually forgot to make stuff for. All right, we actually haven't made like scrolls and stuff for the for the library. We do have the sheets, but we haven't made uh, made the other stuff. So, actually, don't think we have a stockpile for stockpile for ammo. So let's make that. Uh, let's put everything here for now, and we'll uh, not worry about that. Uh, Getting rid of stuff later. And also one one thing we don't have here is um, is a stockpile for um, Crafts. They could pick up, pick up their things. So let's do. Let's do this like amulets, bracelets, crowns, earrings, figurines, scepters. These were the things that I was trading before. Uh, let me see what do we what do we have here? Uh, yeah, we're not not having those things in. We have the clothes elsewhere. Yeah, we didn't have the stockpile. And I actually want this to be without pins. So they just put uh, put the stuff into open. This needs to be bigger. The blocks. It's actually the blocks could be in here as well. A bit faster. Yeah, the blocks could definitely be in here. Blocks, box bars, and blocks all and 
all oh, that's one okay back here most of the items are here trader is here waiting for one one barrel. Okay, I'm actually just straight now. Let's see. Let's see what they have. Uh, let's get those blocks. Well, let's get all these trees. They brought some black wood and blood stone as we asked for them. Uh, they brought an instrument, so let's take that for our soon to be built tavern. Don't need any of this stuff. Don't need any of this stuff. Uh, I will take all the pins with the cloth and leather. Steel bolts, yes please. Not gonna take any of those steel and be sure. Uh, not gonna take the meats. We are producing enough uh, our own. Uh, I'm gonna take those. I will take the thread. And they did bring a scroll. So that will go into uh, into our library. So they didn't ask much, so they will want about 4,900, I believe. So do we have any, anything with five? That's really close, but it's not close enough. Uh, so that would go a little bit over, but I think that's close enough. So let's go with that. No trader needed. And... We can just cancel all these. Good. Trading done. Trading done, but... Um, yes, we need... Uh, we need to make some scrolls and codexes that those, uh, those guys can build them. So, what we need for that is... Um, I think they are put in the tool stockpile and I think they are ma made in the Craftswolf's workshop. Also, why are the, why are the slabs not brought in here? Do I not have slabs? Scap. Slab. I uh, am not making slabs. Let's have two and... Let's have some of them in store. We start using the tools. Yeah, we put them in here, which is actually all right. It's kind of close enough. Close enough for these things. So what we can do. Wood pine, book binding and scroll rollers. Yeah, let's make them out of. What we have? We yeah, we might have actually some really good. Could we use it? Could we use metal for that? Did find some gold as well, like golden golden scrolls and bookbinders might be cool. Cool for the library.
Uh, let me see, where did I find the gold? Is this the gold? No, that's Limonites. Limonites. Where did I find the gold? Was it was it there in the same same places? All right, we don't have anything in here. Damn, I I saw the notification, but there was a lot of stuff happening, so I completely missed it. So, oh, was it actually spotted in the spotted in the caverns where the cat was? Might have been the case as well. Also, these these can be mined from here when we have time. And some gems in there, gems in there. Demonites here as well in the... Actually, I'm not gonna touch those. Uh, let's see... Demonites here as well. Some gems. I'm pretty sure I saw it in a more open... Open space. Place, but maybe maybe I was imagining things, or it was somewhere somewhere lower. It was the Kalena level? We could take a look at that to get more silver. Don't have that much of it. Just did the minimum for the minimum for the lit mine cards. There's gold oval cluster in there, but not gold. Maybe it was in the caverns. When I got the notification, I think it's I think that was the case. Yeah, and also uh, I was thinking about these bedrooms here before, but we uh, we never never got around finishing them as a uh, lot of lot of cancellations when you are digging. Speaking near, near and in. Um, the magma levels. A lot of lot of cancellations for these. Oh, oh, wait! So I had to auto mining on, so it was not not assigning anything. This level, let's try not to mine. Not to mine into anything too dangerous. Okay, actually, while, while I am doing this with Midas. Might as well done to the other side as well. While at it. And... 
bigger, bigger magma machine there, but let's at least do those. I guess then the same, same thing on this side. This should be a little bit easier to do. Since we don't have, don't have stuff, uh, stuff below. And uh, kind of triple, double check that I didn't pierce the levels. Sometimes it's a little bit hard to see when you are looking at uh, at these hot symbols that are you actually mining into into stuff. But that looks okay. We are not piercing anything. Not gonna not gonna flood my bottom of the fort with magma. Good, good, good. Steel, steel thing is working. Cavern dwellers are fighting and appearing. Still, yeah, the number of these is just silly. There's so many of them. Ah oh, man! By the time I get my dwarves, dwarves in steel, we have, uh, we will have like four hundred or thousand to fight. Uh, which will be interesting if I if I actually just let them let them try to come in without too much safe measures, then uh, we might have a interesting end to this fort. Although I think my dwarves would handle this pretty well, but with sheer numbers, who knows what will happen? Because they have only wooden weapons, but they do have the chaperers and uh, and the crawlers. Now that's an interesting forgotten beast. Sadly, it is in a in a wrong cavern. But when something is composed of flame, it means wherever they move, they burn. Uh, a towering ptero, pterosaur composed of flame. Interested to see if this one goes after the the cavefish people. And if it does, then what happens when it goes into water? <laughs> will it will it like boil the place? We see already some, some flames in there. Uh, Ulet, no kills yet, but uh, I think I think uh, it's about to have some. I just, I just wish it would keep in the keep in the view. Oh, oh. oh no, we are we are getting more of those. Come on, I, I really want to follow... Oh, we have a Crave Crocodile. That is cool. Um, <laughs> completely. Why is the outpost liaison not leaving? Oh, they are leaving with... The, they are probably leaving with... Uh, yeah, this this amount of... Amount of these invader... These are just the visible ones. We don't, we don't even see the... We don't even see the ones that are ambushing us and they are not seeing. Okay, we should be able to see like a flame trail here somewhere. Wherever it's a... Oh, and will this thing actually burn all our trees? Yeah, the, the fishmen are in the cavern layer 1. And then the cave swallow flying, flying people. Uh... Sparrow, cave sparrow, right? Not swallow. No, swallow, cave swallow. Uh, they are in the cavern layer three, and then in the cavern layer three, we also have chaperers and uh, and uh, these nasty crawler things. We have these uh, cave fishmen in here, but these uh, guys have been like relatively peaceful because we are not doing that much in the first layer. But the cavern, the cavern three is full of the. 
of those things. But yeah, I, I think the I think the cavern layer one is, is spot to burn. Since we have a forgotten beast who's made out of flame, flying flying around. Uh, if only I could only I could find them. Oh, we have some obsidian here. Cool. Um, can I like find you, please? There we go. Is it flying as well, or is it climbing? Is it climbing or flying? I think it's... Gl no, it's flying. It's a flying creature made of flame and rip, rip fish people. <laughs> oh, I, I, I wish this one would be the cavern layer 3. This would be so good. This would be fantastic. Oh, that's nasty. That's nasty. So, so we have uh, we have our, our very own Balrog. We have our own our very own Balrog in the cavern layer one. Oh, that is awesome. That is awesome. Uh, yeah, this this might get rid of the cave fish problem we have. Cave fish men. Thing, but uh, we might also um, we might also be an issue that uh, I don't think this thing can go into water, as it's made out of flame. At least it's at least it doesn't want to go in. Uh, and also, at, at least the flames don't burn the trees like a dragon fire would. Make a tunnel to the third level and get it down there. Yeah, I think the I think this one this one could actually have a decent chance. Um, I don't I don't yet know how strong it how strong it is, but uh, yeah, it's definitely doing good. And luckily, sometimes sometimes like um, um, because this thing is uh, this thing doesn't breathe fire; it is made of flame. So it burns everywhere it moves, which is kind of cool. But this could uh, this could even just burn the burn the cavern layer and uh, deal with a bunch of issues like that. It looks like uh, right now it's. Uh... Oh, wait, did I have a did I have the game accidentally paused? I think I accidentally hit the pause. No, 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 no. It's it's just not moving anywhere. Because I think all the cave fish people that it might attack, they are in the water. And it can't bath to them, I think. Well, we'll come and check on that. That, uh, that one will now rule rule this cavern layer. But yeah, then the stupid number of, uh, of things we have in this layer. That's a different story. Um, we are getting these messages only. Because there are some crundles and stuff. That are uh, are spotting things for us, and uh, our FPS is like super. There's like crundles like this, poor crundles, who have been dying in the like hundreds here in the caverns to the to the cavern dwellers, and um, when we get those messages, that's not necessary when they spawn, but that's when uh, when someone spots them, but. Uh, I think we are now in like almost a hundred or over just from the visible ones and uh, then even more invisible ones. So I think my plan still is as soon as my military dwarves are fully in steel because all of these are legendary fighters from uh, from previous forts. Uh, we would open, we would put the dwarves in here as bait and uh, then most of the enemies would come through the through the minecart grinder, which works really well, as we have sh as we have seen. And then whoever makes it through, uh, we would fight them with uh, with the dwarves. But the problem is that especially these um, especially these um, uh, like. Mm, Man, man races, not the cavern dwellers, not the chap, not the chap, not not the uh, not the chapers or the crawlers. They are aggressive, but these things just need seems to be waiting for a chance to ambush, and then they get a little bit aggressive. But they are not like uh, coupling invaders who just directly path into 
whatever creature they see. Um, so it's kind of really hard to deal with them. Even it, uh, I tried with the bait dog, it got some of them, uh, but not all of them. But we could actually open the other one and see what happens. Like, do they come through and uh, do they get killed? So we could do that. But uh, for that, we could probably have a spotter. A spotter like above, above this place or something. Uh, that we could um, could have a dog in watching down, but the problem is we can actually build that now because if we channel down these things, will have just a direct access. So maybe we could like pastor an animal here as a pre warning. And uh, but on the other hand, that's why the that's why the dog is there. So maybe maybe we'll actually open that one. We have been made a barony, so we do have that that to deal with. So we have uh, we have Ashok, our new baron or baroness, and uh, codependent stasis expedition leader will probably be uh, selected as a mayor or who knows someone because the mayor is always um, elected and uh, they are chosen, but you you can decide who becomes the baron and eventually the the count or duke or countess or or duchess. But yeah, we uh, we need stuff for the for the noble now, especially the office. Kind of would nice to be in a central location. So let's see if we have some uh, some nice stuff here. Where would we build it? We have a lot of lot of space here. Some space above. I have some unused space here that I I could use a lot for stuff. Maybe I will do it here. At least dining rooms could be here. So let's make this the noble floor. Um, so this would be we would make the make their diner diner in that one like that. And I'm just marking marking another one here for the future. And then we could do one level above. One level above and this could be the office level. This could be the office level, and then... Mm. Let's make a little bit of a pathway from here, and... Could have the noble noble bedrooms in here, so let's make them. Uh, maybe they don't need actually that much. Their demands are very 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 modest. Even if we if we become uh, uh, co uh, county and county and uh, such later. Mm. Maybe we'll do like that, and then we, uh, we at least in theory we could expand it. Let's make them. Let's make them five, five wide. Let's put it like that. Let's do these with a little bit of priority. And most of the requirements we can handle with, uh, with just engraving. They don't need much at this stage. And they only have need for like one extra weapon rack and armor stand for the stuff we already have. So let's order, order a rock weapon rack and a rock, rock armor stands. Let's do we want to keep these in storage? Uh, 
Uh, I guess some might as well. Stands. Then we go. Looks the rock situation. It's looking good. We have a bunch of bunch of stuff there ready to be dropped. How's the metal ores? We have plenty of those as well. And we have uh, uh, a ton waiting, waiting at the hatch. So that is good. Pull that and pull it again, the closed hatch. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, right. oh, wait a minute. Is that because of the fire? Scary. <laughs> Scared me, game. It must be because of the fire. Because it's... Uh... Yeah, I just hope hope that's uh, not not related to us. Okay, well, let's, uh, let's pull that. Okay, let's go. Let's go take a look what's going on. Okay, it's just... Okay, it is burning trees. It is burning trees. Uh... So this is the Forgotten Beast doing... Uh, doing stuff... Yeah, that was scary. That was scary, like, oh, wait a minute, what did I just do? Uh, exa exactly when I clicked on the lever, like, <gasps> no! <laughs> what, what did I just collapse? Um, but yeah, uh, at least something something fell. As uh, Maybe some leaves burned or some parts of the... What is this kind of trunk? Is it because these are dead? That's why they are, they are falling down? Ooh, that's, that's creepy. That is creepy, these dead ones. And yeah, we, we can we can see where it's been, that's for sure. At least for a short moment before the moss takes over again. Okay, but yeah, the dwarves will uh, hold the rocks for a while there, while the hatch that will catch is protecting them. And the steel making and stuff is working. We are getting queued up on the shields at the moment. That's great. That is great. So how are we looking in here? We're looking pretty good. We are looking pretty good. They are, they are upgrading. We have some some who are fully, fully in steel. So we have a battle axe, battle axe, spear, spear. We have the artifacts, war hammer. Uh, sword, 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 spear, spear, and they will they will replace that with something else. Okay, weapons are looking kind of good. I think one thing I could do is uh, go and look for. Oh no, this is. This is in the second cavern layer, which has kind of almost nothing in it. Uh, composed of vomit. <laughs> well, that is that is nice. <laughs> uh, I don't know much about this layer. It's the one we have not been using and will not be using. So whatever this vomit vomit monster does, we really don't care. We do need to be careful with uh, with when we are mining stuff here, so we can just openly openly go and mine. But let's get some Kalena. Let's get some Kalena Kalena work done here. work done and not uh, not expose anything anything we don't want to expose Okay. 
do have some more on the other side, so we could find our way in there as well. So what we could do here is go like that. Go like that and make this a little bit wider. Then we would go down, down, down. Like that. And then from these levels we would look what we can find in here. And if we if we accidentally pierce a wall, then that vomit beast would have a free roaming to our place. So let's try to be careful. And also I actually don't have a Kalina drop, do I? I need to I need to set up a Kalina drop here. I actually need to do that first, so let's uh, let's open that one. Also, thank you for the music game. This has been a weird weird one. Uh I've been holding off on, on the tavern actually a little bit too long. We we need to put up a tavern so I can hear the drink and in industry song. But it's been very light on music. I think it's because of... Uh... Actually, this could be the level as well. Mm. So then for the second one, we will have the Kalina drop. And this, uh, I, I said this before, but this uh, brown, brown, quite bright white of the Kalina, this makes it really hard to kind of check that have I, have I not opened anything I don't want. Especially when we have in the, in the middle we have the actual cavern here and then I have what I have uh, I have been digging. But so far we have not been eaten by a vomit monster so I, I think we are I think we are alright. Okay but this will be the this will be the Kalina drop so let's do construction track stop dump and it will be that one. This will be the Galena collector. Stone, metal, ores, Galena. Stone, stone, metal, or scalena. And assign... Assign a minecart to that. So then... Also, let's double check how did I do my... I do my... Is it this one? The metal works? Yeah, it's taking everything. Okay. I 
it is taking everything we we throw down in there so this will eventually go down 100 levels 100 levels and fall on this hatch like we have the the flux coal and the iron ore coming down and then we drop it in this stockpile from where they move into the actual smelting stockpile and then uh, these uh, these ones work off uh, off of those ones and what I could actually do with these ones to just make and to make sure that they are not running well, like no I think it's I think it's working it's working they are hauling, hauling this stuff from there and uh, we should see Galena dropping on this one. This one um, eventually when the stuff is gets get set up up there. And uh, steel making seems to be in a really good phase right now. It's kind of steadily, steadily working and as soon as we get enough steel, the armor smiths and weapon smiths are making, making the military stuff. Uh, but it's a lot of lot of steel parts to be made, so it uh, takes a while before they uh, before they get to it. But that is now happening. Let's go and do those noble noble quarters. So let's do smoothing for the dining hall, smoothing for the office, and smoothing for the bedroom. So that we can uh, we can engrave them. I see some slabs have been made. So this one could now put one for Sarvesh, who was the kid who died. See anything? A uh, lot of lot of fighting going on. A lot of like cont continuous fighting going on. I think they are fighting each other as well. So that's kind of there's some. Um, there's some chaperers and then there's war chaperers who have been trained by the cave swallow people. So they are fighting the wild chaperers there. At least there's a little bit of that going on in the, in the caverns. But we... Like ideally the next forgotten beast would actually be in the cavern layer 3 and it would be something super 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 tough. And it would kill kill thousand cavern dwellers. That's the, that's the dream. Or we do it the hard way, and I I have to kill all of them. But, uh, but yeah, we'll see. Speaking of which, let's go let's go take a look at that in just a moment. But let's uh, let's secure secure the doors in here. So that we can continue continue dropping the normal rocks. Uh, down this hatch from here. Okay, it's happening in some invisible, invisible area. Basically, some some crundles or something are spotting the cavern dwellers or something something weird like that. Okay, that one is closed, so then we can uh, pull the lever and drop all these. Game! Game! Did you just give me my wish? It's a web shooting forgotten beast made out of clear glass. I think this will take care of all the, all the wooden weapon wielding cave things. And it's a web shooter, so we can potentially capture it later for a silk farm. Amazing. Yeah, it has already killed, like there in the darkness, killed some of them. Nice. Sukong Nospu. My fortress's FPS savior, potentially. Let's see. Let's see how it goes goes to town. Not hopefully not deep town, but uh but uh things. We don't see it at the moment because we haven't seen the southern part of the and I don't think it has been hurt yet. Oh no, oh no, it's uh, it's actually getting okay. Uh, I think with sheer numbers, the, the cave swallow people, they are, they are pretty tough. They are pretty tough. Yes. 
Hey, Talent the Dragon. Thank you so much for the resub. 13 months. Yes, buddy. Let's uh let's see and hope this web shooter kills a lot of the a lot of the things. That's how. But I think with sheer numbers they will they they will uh will be able to do some things. But let's see. It looks like it's uh it's claiming the cavern, but now comes now comes the first bigger fights. Oh, why is those white was running? Okay, here comes the first bigger fights, I think. Why is it why is it waiting? Does it hurt? It what? What is what is with these forgotten beasts? Panicked after being attacked. <laughs> what? What? They they this should not be happening to forgotten beasts. Come on. So they they basically got hit so hard. That uh, their right rear paw is gone, and they got panicked after that. And now they are like, oh no, I, I can't fight! I can't fight! Yeah, I think it's... Uh, I think they will... What is happening here? Is this, thing, this thing is just shooting the blow gunner darts at it or something. Oh, there... Oh, no, oh, now it woke up. Well, let's uh let's see. Let's see. These things are visible to us, but it might not be visible to it. So they need to ambush it and it needs to move around and uh I don't know, I don't know. Oh, oh accidentally paused the game. My bad. There we go, 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 go. Kill them all! Kill them all! Kill them all, Xuxong! Come on! Come on, get him, get him, get him all. Don't die. Don't you die now. No, come on. You were made out of clear glass. Oh, son of a... <sighs> Not tough enough. Where's, where's bronze colossi when you need it? Come on. I'm, I'm starting to be afraid of these things for my dwarves as well. But I, I'm still. I have a trust in steel. I have a trust in steel that we can, we can actually take them. But uh, this will be an interesting challenge when I finally get my military, military going. I had high hopes. I had high hopes for Xuzong, but no. Nope, not the beast for it. Kind, kind of knew that was not going so well, but it was panicking after being attacked. So uh, yeah, yeah. Right, and I actually I was uh, I saw the library. I was looking for the gold for the scroll rollers. I kind of forgot about that, but let's do it with uh, let's do it with uh, with rock and let's do rock book binder. But no, 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 no. Uh, binding rock book binding. Let's have some of these in store. Have some of these in store and um, uh, we don't need that many. We just need like let's do let's do four of them in storage and uh, this one. On the same thing, and then we do. Then we do. Um, no, we do. Um, we do acquire. We do acquire, which is the empty book, and then we do the book binding. If someone actually wrote a book, so we do this one. And uh, if we have, if we have uh, at least two sheets, we will do one choir. And I think the ones going into the library storage don't count for this. 
So I think we can do a good amount of these and they will just go there. But let's say uh, let's do it like that. We would have 10 of these in storage all the time. And then we do uh, make a scroll. So take the scroll roller and a sheet and make a scroll. So both it doesn't matter, I think, which one you have, whether they write into a scroll or a, or a book. So it doesn't really, really matter. I like to do both. Um, so then let's do this. We need, we need scroll rows, we need sheets, we need limit the number of scrolls. So again, then, then uh, when we have at least one scroller, we don't need more than that. And then we have at least two sheets. So one is going into a scroll and one is going into a choir. And then if we would happen to get an actual book, uh, we would bind it, uh, one. And for this we need to have a book binding, uh, collected thread to bind it, and we need to have a written on uh, choirs and Codices are the, are the ready available books, but we, we just bind all the books we are gonna get. So we need just one book binding, we need one thread, and we need at least one choir that has been, has been uh, written. So with scrolls, you have the scroll roller, scroll roller, <laughs> scroll roller, it's a really hard word. Scroll roller, you put that, and, uh, and a sheet that makes a scroll, and then they write on it, and it's done. But uh, with uh, with books, you make uh, you make a choir, which is uh, basically it's uh, it's an empty book just with the papers. So they prepare it, and then they write it, and then uh, you put the covers on it uh, by binding the book together. So these both effectively only use one sheet. So even that you would think that choir is like it would have multiple pages so that it can become a book. It's still just one sheet of paper. But uh, now we have ways for all our philosophers and scholars to actually do stuff. As we have to have uh, everything we need for that. So that will that will now start rolling. And the uh, materials will be taken into chests in the library. Um, chests in the library. Uh, we have three books at the moment. They have all been coming from the traders. Um, we don't have any scribe to do the copy. Uh, which I think I will. I will actually increase this uh, writing materials into 25. Just to have plenty of stuff in here. Um, choirs are typically made from one large sheet that is folded and cut into many pages. That that makes sense. That makes sense how it's uh, how it kind of works in Dwarf Fortress as well, yeah. And then I guess with scrolls, they instead of having folding it, they make one long one that is uh, scrolled, scrolled into the into the scroll. But yeah, do we have anyone who has any idea about wordsmithing? Not much. So we need to select someone for this. Maybe someone will join and will uh, will make them the one who copies stuff. So scholars are trying to do new written work. They are they are discussing things and uh, they uh, if they make a great discovery, they will write something. But uh, hopefully, hopefully now that I actually remember to make books for them, they uh, they will do that. Okay, Baroness's quarters let's do engraving in here uh, let me check my all my engravers uh yeah still just the legendary ones good then we do this one oh no engraving there we go i want purpose not doing the walls in case we want to expand this so this will be the bedroom good we are probably getting some uh, engraving masterpieces from uh, from Onyx, Onyx there, and uh, others who are doing the engravings like uh, like Vincenzi. Right.
cards. While that is happening, let's see, have we, do we have some Galena up here? Yes, we do. So let's secure the shoot. Secure the shoot and then uh, open the hatch. So a lot of lot of stuff came from there, and then we pull that again. Ooh, migrants, nice. Nice. Hatch is closed, so we can open open that one. There we go. Let's go see the dwarves who push our population above 50. Now that we have the population gap up. Uh, I don't see a notification about the weather. I don't think we have a snowstorm at the moment, so that's uh, that's great. We get a fish cleaner. Fish cleaner who is coming from wood fight, but uh, is not nicknamed. But they do have some uh, some thoughts from back there, so they have been having good time. Good time for the most parts. Most part in there. They are coming with their wife. Wait, what? Are we getting are we getting Melfino feeds from uh, from wood fight in here? That's fantastic. Uh, this one actually needs to be nicknamed, and this will be Benzamoth. One of the greatest things about this fort has been that we actually get the dwarves from the old fortress, but then also they keep their nicknames. If we had had nicknames in the previous fort, so that is uh, that is fantastic. And speaking of which, Melfino feeds joins from wood fights. Legendary mechanic, legendary weaponsmith, also a great cook. A uh, little bit of uh, military. I think they had just joined the military, maybe when they were there. Um, but yeah, we are getting these really good ones because we were we went. We, we went all in with the guilds or guild halls in the, in wood fight, so we're getting these really high high ones in here. But yeah, Melfina feet signs. It's nice. I saw a human recite the birth of willpower at the stern axe. It's interesting. Stern axe uh, is the cavern. Is the cavern, not the cavern. Tavern, tavern in um, in the wood fight. So this. Uh, Fantastic to get these uh, dwarves from uh, from other four, and we have a Kimi as well. Nice, so happy to see these uh, these nicknamed ones coming in. It's fantastic because we we had from the two hundred dwarves, we had oh from the one hundred sixty, we had like maybe sixty or seventy, like about half were nicknamed. So it's uh, good to see them coming in here. Uh, Kimi, legendary engraver, legendary cook, and again these they are so highly skilled because we had a long eighteen year old. 18 years of forts in a wood fight. Uh, a little bit of military skills as well. Uh, they are coming in with their with their uh, peachy pet. Nice, nice. Welcome, Kimmy. Do we get more? We get a water buffalo calf joining our water buffaloes. We get uh, aforementioned peachy. And we get an animal trainer without a name, or without a name yet. Uh, legendary Spirit Wolf, which means that they have... Uh, it doesn't show the squad in here, but it pops up after a little while from the previous fort. So they all also keep their squad, which causes problems because they they want to put the the uniform of that squad on that doesn't exist in this fort and they will just be naked. So I have to assign them to a, to a squad, if nothing else, to remove them from the old squad. Uh, kind of a weird weird behavior of having multiple forts, but uh, but anyway, this animal trainer is uh, Ecleptomania. Coming Without, uh, without spouse or anything. Let's see who else do we get. 
The flying fish shores. Nice. So many nicknamed ones on this migrant patch. Did you hear the one about the snails and king snakes? No, I kind of I kind of wish I would hear the rest of that. <laughs> the rest of that thing. Fantastic. Uh, legendary engraver. Uh, not much else, so they've been doing mostly engraving, I think, in there. Uh, let me just see. Yeah. Flying flying because we started. We started wood fight in 117, so flying fish shows was there for a long time. Engraving all the all the holes. It's a lot of lot of memories. But this is this is so cool. And one of the great things about this uh, rebuilding the dead civilization of dwarves that we are building multiple multiple forts. Okay, they are now in a snowstorm actually. Um Unnicknamed ones, and uh, it looks like our queue is queue is empty. But I at least saw M Horts, and they're trying to join. So uh, I'm naming naming you dwarves here. If your dwarf comes, the dwarves comes from the previous fort, then we will re rename these into uh, into something else. But uh, quite inexperienced ones. Oh, oh, whoa, whoa! This is the from from I haven't checked each and every one, but this might be the first one who's not coming from wood fights, which is fantastic. Love it, love it. Let's see, hey, our room works. How, how many is that? That is that is like five nicknamed ones coming. That is fantastic. I love it. It's so good. So I think I think our room wait a minute, is our room the founding Founding planter of wood fights? Yes. Our room was the one of the initial seven in wood fights, the first fourth for this civilization. And she's here now. This is the one who fed whole wood fight for 18 years. Amazing. I love it. This is so cool. And the great thing is that they, they keep all their memories. We see we see what they did in the beginning of wood fights. And things they did. Talk to a friend. Thought thought I guess I guess Orum works has done work was done there as they they became a legendary planter from scratch and then uh, taught everyone else to farm and now they are here. Fan I love it. So good. So good. Yeah, that is, uh, that is fantastic. I love it. So many, so many of these nicknamed ones. I think this is our own works as husband. Uh, I think... Yeah, for some reason this was this was never, never nicknamed, but they are... Uh, they joined wood fight in uh, like seven years after it was done. Grandmaster Minor. And uh, this one will be Lord Bell. Uh, legendary Axe Dwarf. So probably we need to check their squad later on as well. Alright, then we, we should make that other squad. I kind of uh, I was thinking about that, but then I forgot. So I think I think I need to do that. Fantastic. I think when we now open the migration gap, we are gonna get a lot of lot of these. Hey, Rock Jitsu is the next one. Nice. A lot of lot of familiar names. Skilled Markswolf. They are coming with wait, what? Are they coming with USB driver from Woodfight, which means that uh, USB driver already here will uh will be uh, renamed Junior or uh, someone taking over that name? Fantastic. Love it. Yeah, yeah it is. USB driver. USB driver from Woodfight joins. Legendary Weaponsmith, Legendary Armorsmith. Um, also, a little bit of doing some barracks work as well. Uh, fantastic. They were quite a long time in a Woodfight as well. 
for uh, from the 18 years like they were there for 16. But yeah, I will I will have to have to ten take. So this one that we already have in the fort will actually now be uh, just be Driver Junior. Junior and uh, let's go see who else we get. This has been one of the most exciting migration waves we've had because of so many, so many named dwarves joining. Not more than that. Okay, fifty-eight is good. Fifty-eight is good. Yeah, let's uh, let's do the noble noble rooms and then uh, then the other rooms. So. Doors in place. Just use the closest stuff. And dining hall and office. So we'll do this will be the office, so let's just do a table in there and a chair. And let's put two tables and two chairs. Like that, and then into this one we'll put... Uh, no, actually let's put that end up in the bedroom as well. So this will be a dining hall. This will be one for... Um, so this is uh, main... Oh, this is like Baron. Well, I, I will call it Baron's... Baroness is dining now. Yeah, that later on they might get promoted to be a countess. So, uh, Baroness. Baroness, and since Ashok is uh, is married to Max, Max will be uh, dining here as well if they so choose to. And then the bedroom. Let's put. Um, I will put two beds in here, even that's uh, actually married, married dwarves sleep in one bed, uh, in one room, but I will still put two in there. Then uh, let's add a couple of cabinets and a couple of chests. And then we do the weapon rack and armor stand. This will be the Baroness's bedroom. We assign it to assign it to the Baroness of Deep Town, a shock. And then we have only the office. Uh, the, um, yeah, the office left up the dining hall, so this will be the office. So we do. We do. Table, table. Chair, chair. Zones, office. Baroness's office. Assign that to the Baroness, and that should fulfill everything but a tomb. A couple of extra ones for the dining hall, so it actually looks a little bit different than the office. And then we need to make a make a make a tube. We have been just uh, putting people here in the walls of the caverns, uh, at least until now. So will we will we continue to do that here? I actually kind of like this idea that I got, so let's go. Let's go and go down from here. And this would be this would be our our katagooms. Katagooms later on. 
Uh, so let's move that just to one spot. One spot from there. So let's see. Go down. Do I, do I want to go up as well? No. We will probably go multiple levels down. So that is that is fine. Like that. And then in here we would have some normal normal tombs. Tombs like this. Let's see how does this fit in? And then we could have because we can continue that away. Then I was thinking that we could have just taking taking a little bit of the shape from the cavern walls there. So that could be that could be one one two we have. Uh, to make another one here just uh, just as something to uh, match the design a little bit. So then we would have a door and a door. Door in there and then this one this one would have the Again, the normal, normal tubes here as well. This can be a bit lower priority, I just realized. And then then I guess we can I feel like feel like I need to prepare a little bit for the for the eventual clash with the cavern dwellers, so I, I feel we are gonna need a lot of lot of tombs when that happens. So let's uh let's prepare. But yeah, we can uh, we can expand this uh, in here or uh, move to the move to other other levels for that. But that's a uh, it's a good starting point. So let me let me change this a little bit. Let's do it like this. Because then it's almost almost fits in here. Mm. So let's cancel that. Let's see how it goes from this side. So if we do this. If we do that, and then we would do this one in here, like that. Guess we can just do that. It's all right. Excellent, and. Should be going and doing this first, so we can do the tomb for the Baroness. Do that first. Good. good. Where did I strike blue diamond? Ah, I'm seeing. Why? 
Oh, oh, oh. Why, why am I seeing that? Did I accidentally oh now I now I I think I definitely accidentally opened something. Uh, why why did I suddenly spot that? Mm. Okay, we have those things here. There is not the cause. We have the Galena collector. So did I actually pierce the walls like I thought I would? And not in there, not in there. Nope, I didn't. The vomit vomit monster is there. Uh, that have something to do with it. Yeah, these are these are not open. Let me let me watch you for a moment. You are you're scaring me a little bit. Uh, okay, you are not beelining anywhere, so I don't think the cavern layer free is open to anything. Yeah, I think we are. I think we are safe. It's a weird, weird message always to see that. Like that something, something was opened because we we all of an. I, wait a minute. That's, there's no. Uh, the cat cat explained the the previous part, but there's no explanation for this one. Uh, these are all intact. And I said this is so tricky to see. That is all right. Did we mine? We mined the floor below? No, we didn't. There's these stairs here, they don't hit anything. That's my own... own thing in there. I don't think we actually did. And I said I think it would be beelining for us if something was actually open. here on the upper one. What is that? The cat actually spots something like that? Quartzite cavern? Wait, what? That is... Where Where did we spot that one? Is this coming down from the... from the upper cavern? I think the cat was there way back way back when. Doesn't explain the other, other cavern though. Oh well. As long as we are not getting attacked by something. Something all of a sudden we are we are fine with that. Making the steel leggings now, so that's good. See some choirs being made, so I wonder if someone would have immediately written something. At least not yet. Let's see what, the, what are they doing in the library. Ponder diseases. Uh, ponder foraging behavior. Uh, reading the course of disease. Further amusings. I'm not sure if they are liking that yet. Uh, we are pondering diseases as well. Uh, Kimi here is reading a book, and USB driver is reading a book. Nice, nice. That did remind me that let's go take a take and put all the all the animals that just came in in here. Although for the most part they are being fed as they walk in the cavern layers every now and then, but I think I, I think I want to put them here here just in case. And also one thing one thing we should do one thing we should do is um let's make uh let's make an iron cage. 
just make one and we'll put some of the puppies, puppies and kittens in there as we are. We have a huge number, number of them. And we should now have a slab for... Slap for the, um, for the kid who died. So let's put that in there as well. I think even that we have the catacombs, it's nice that we have uh, have this one there. There's a potential location for like uh, crossbow dwarves be in an area that they could guard this and just shoot these things off the air as they are flying in here, hanging around in uh, in my caverns. So we would have like smooth the walls and do uh, do fortifications and go and have, have a um, archery tower from the natural stone into the into the cavern, cavern floors, and they would just shoot them there. Then I could maybe maybe do the same thing here above. Like do well, this is a little bit not as good of a shape for that, but uh, do do something like that. This this area is a little bit more open than others, so this could be a definitely a potential for that. Okay, was there was there something else that I was I was checking on? I think one thing I could do is uh, is set up um, set up the new uniform and then set up the second squad. So these guys can actually take. The, I already said it. So let's assign the the steel melee to these ones. But then uh, we'll do a special one for Sarlon. Who has been using it? Um, well, actually, right now their individual choice might actually be the correct one. Actually, I'm not going to touch that. They should now select uh, artifacts, artifact weapon. Uh, I am pretty sure of it. They should get it. Nope, nope. They chose they chose the different one. Nope. Looks like you need to do the specific weapon. Specific weapon every time, because that's the that's the hammer they created. So they should they should get it for sure. And uh, let me just see. We have a bunch of dwarves probably in the old squads here. Uh, we at least have Akurno. Uh, no one else. No one else in there. Let's take the, let's take a look if we have box dwarves. Any box dwarves from my? I saw some, but uh, we were not in a squad at least. Okay, we have rock chichu. We were probably just hunters and not uh, not in the fortress guard. Guard of wood fights. Okay, so definitely something to something to train then. Um, right, so then that means we would have uh, a new militia captain, and that would be that would be a cool no. Find them. There we go. And then we would have a new squad for them with steel melee. And the, the name for this would be Squad 2. And let's actually put the symbol, symbol for the main squad to be a sword. Uh, let's change it maybe to be a uh, white symbol on a blue background. The crossbow squad here. These, uh, these some of these weapon icons are from the mod mod some mod I'm using the, uh, the icons and symbols pack or something like that. I'm only using that and then the interface tweaks 
that adds the hot visible hotkeys and the colors the pause play button and things like that. Um, so we do that and then these guys could be maybe like orange like that. And then let's give these guys like the, like the hammer. Hammer and uh, what do we like black and red. Oh, that's pretty pretty cool looking. Let's do that. And uh, I named this one the Deep Guard. Let's name these ones. Um, the hammers. Hammers of. Hammers of steel. Actually, let's make it hammers of silver if we have that. So that's what we are gonna use. Nil Rall. Um, actually, probably not assigning them specifically to use hammers, but uh, I just want to have uh, like names I know I made. Like uh, we have the hammers, hammers there. We have the deep guard. I named these ones the bloody bolts, so that I recognize the name of the squad later on. Good, and that's uh, that squad will also get some dwarves later on. Uh, I could add, could add the dwarves who have any military skill from the previous one. We have some novice wrestlers there. So I'm not necessarily putting them in uh, actually doing any stuff. But they could... Uh, oh, we have... Uh, we do have one who was a legendary spear dwarf who was not in, a, not in a squad, so they are definitely joining this one. Yeah, and then we have, uh, we have one who's adequate wrestler. That means they have been doing some fighting, whether it's far brawl or anything, but they have been doing something. Uh, I don't have anyone else there right now, so uh, that is good. And let's set their schedule. Let's edit this one, the important one, sleep room at will, if we ever use this. And then uh, the off duty, off duty is fine, and at the moment they uh, they can be off duty. They don't have any training training for them yet. Good. And this this will be the barracks. Uh, this will be the barracks of the cavern free entrance. Let's call, it, let's call it like that. And you guys can actually now train here if you like on your own. And some of them will probably just come here even that we don't have a scheduled training. But we will put them on a scheduled training in uh, in a uh, in a moment. Iron cage was done that I was asking, so let's do... Let's do... Let's put the cage in place. It's a little bit hidden here. I would like it to be next to the butchery. Next to the butchery, but maybe we would put it here and... Uh, Let's put it here on the... Uh, wait, what? Oh, it's probably being hauled into a... into a stockpile. Uh, how is our clothing situation looking? It's looking pretty good. Don't people are finding clothes. Armor is being picked up as soon as we make it. Uh, 
I see some blocks here without a pin. So we are probably gonna do uh, some wooden pins. I don't think I had a regular order for that because those are sometimes proper trouble troublesome. You just get over a uh, whole lot of a lot of pins made. So let's make these out of tower caps. Uh, just to keep them uh, keep them uniform. And yeah, I don't see any pins pins here, so seems that those are out. Okay, bedrooms on this level for the most part. Most part done still. Ooh! Tommy, the militia commander, has been taken by a strange mood. Let's see, let's see what they go for. Will they go for a forge or something else? Yeah, this uh, digging the bedrooms into into the magma magma layer was kind of a cool idea, but it's also a, the biggest bait in the ass. It's just not it's just not getting done automatically, and then because uh, they uh, keep canceling, they keep canceling for these one, and then it's uh, kind of uh, always always worried that I will I will hit something something I shouldn't and then ruin this whole thing. Hey, Tommy went for uh, went for a magma forge. Let's go see what they what they make. What they plan to make. They have taken a steel bar, that's a good first sign. As yes, uh, so we are about to get uh, something made out of steel. Will it be a weapon? Will it be an armor? Uh, if they make... I think they have been using a spear. No, no, they are, they are an axe dwarf, so it would be cool if they made themselves an axe, but uh, might even change their weapon depending on what they do. So I forgot to click that as uh, when we were naming naming dwarves. They are bringing a lot of stuff in, so there will be some decorations on that. I don't know why they keep dumping the wheelbarrow in here. This just doesn't, doesn't make doesn't make any sense. Nope, they are still going for stuff. Getting some gut gems there. Gap rope lock. Oh, could they be making a furniture? Steel furniture would be pretty cool. They, for the whatever they are looking last, they uh, they are going for the going for the long haul with that one. Okay. 
Last thing they got was some uh, wooden locks and then some rough gems as well. Let's take a look. They are they are an expert expert weaponsmith, so it should be a weapon. Uh, interesting, interesting things. What they uh, what they make out of steel? But let's uh, well with steel with steel the, it can be it can be anything. It will be good good for good for us to use no matter what. Yeah, why why are you dumping wheelbarrows with the rocks? What is what is causing that? You like picking the picking the wheelbarrow from the and putting it in. Uh, Put it, it's putting it into order, so what, have I messed some of these up? A broad rock, that is rocks. Bars and blocks, that is just... Uh, I haven't like accidentally clicked like take anything. I think they just put it, put it there on their own. Because we have wheelbarrows in the stockpiles. Yeah, let's see. Uh, let's see what kind of weapon we will get. Yeah, I, um, I'm liking this stone works now that we have uh, now that we have it working, because it's it's not easy to have the the stone I want 100 levels above, and then. Uh, but I think this uh, this shoe this shoe is working really nicely. Really nicely, and uh, there's plenty of stuff in the stockpiles and uh, and all that, so that's good. Okay, let's uh, take a look. Is something special going on? In some nice cloth and all. Uh, Ajak was also elected as a mayor, in addition to being a baroness. So we don't have a separate. We don't have a separate. Um, Separate mayor from the from the Baron. Uh, let's go finish the tomb so we get uh, we get the requirements done. Let's do this separately separately first, and then we can uh, more easily smooth everything else later. Then I think when I get this Baroness's requirement done, then uh, then we'll call it a, call it a night and continue continue tomorrow. And hopefully, hopefully we see no, not that one. Hopefully, see the military. Military mostly in steel armor. They have almost everything already. I think Tommy was in the middle of getting their uniform when they got picked by the strange mood. So, just a couple of gauntlets and mail shirts missing from the from the first squad, and then um, then it would be fully in steel, and uh, because they are already legendary ones, uh, we would be ready to fight with that squad. So that's definitely a definitely a good thing that we'll look into look into next time. Let's do let's do like a little little bit of engraving here and then uh, I think we will place like the... Okay, it's a... Uh, it is a crossbow. I was hoping for something else made out of steel. But that's uh Is that now the second artifact crossbow? So a crossbow squad will have some, uh, some cool weapons. 
Uh, yeah, a little bit disappointed to see a crossbow and not like a sword or a spear, but uh, it's still a steel weapon, so we take it. So that was, yeah, that's the second, second crossbow we have. So we have made two crossbows, one steel warhammer and then a big iron sword. The big iron sword was also kind of eh. Why did you have to pick the one bar of big iron, not, not a pile of steel next to it, but... Anyway, uh, Ark decays the sensitive beer. 18,000. Encrusted with round, round cap row options, square blend, cut rose quartz, and encircled with bands of blood On the item is an image of a cut and beast in steel. The item is an image of Obok Fort, Fork Paddle, the dwarf, and dwarves in rose quartz. Obok Fork Paddle is surrounded by dwarves. The artwork relates to the ascension of dwarf Obok Fork Paddle to the position of queen, but virtual seals in one. Ooh, cool. Image of our first queen. Uh, image of uh, Shem Wonder Copper the Dwarf and Slenshi Vigor Berries the Whiskered Raven of Keys, the Rock. In, uh, in Rome. Wait a minute, is this what's happened in wood fights? And this actually, I think this actually happened off screen, if this is the case. Let's see if this is the one. Uh, no, this is, this, is, this is before, in year 45. Slensi Vigorper is the Whiskered Raven of Keys, is striking down Shem Wondkover. Wait a minute, uh, the rock killed the dwarf? Oh, the rock killed the dwarf. Okay. I think we killed this rock or some other rock in a wood fight. Yeah, crossbow. Steel crossbow is, uh, is a nice one. Okay, but yeah, let's assign the tomb. Let's assign the tomb and then... Uh, the Baroness would be... Would be happy. Let's put, uh, let's put a masterwork one there. And then. E door. Ooh, nice selection of uh, different doors. Cool. Then let's do. Tomb, and it should paint it automatically if I... Oh shit, it doesn't. Okay. Uh, what if I do Tomb and Molding? Ah, nice. Uh, and then... Whoop. Okay. Let's go see what that is about. But this is Ajax Tomb now. But this is para says Tomb. And the requirements should now be filled. And since we looked at Ajax that they wouldn't have any demands, they uh, they shouldn't make any. But it's not it's not a guarantee. But let's uh, let's see what happens. Okay, let's see where are these popping up. Uh, okay, that probably means that some some creatures spawned in there that spotted them. And since it's above the sea. Let's see if we some creature coming out from there or not. Or were they just killed? Killed by... Okay, no forgotten beast popping up. Whenever it happens, like, beyond what I see, uh, there might be something interesting popping up from there, but, uh, but yeah. Good. I think this uh, this is where I call it, uh, call it a day. It was a good... Um, one so I think tomorrow making a tavern I hope I remember that and then um, getting to getting the military training in here and then we'll probably start letting in the cavern dwellers if they choose to come um, through the traps again and then whoever survives the military will take care of and then then we'll see if we dare to step into the caverns, because there's there's hundreds of those cavern dwellers in there. But I am I'm pretty sure my dwarves would be able to able to deal with that. But yeah, that's uh, that's it for today, and uh, we'll continue next time. And uh, those of you watching watching or listening there live, uh, this weekend I will I will be doing a full full weekend of, uh, of streams, so uh, one tomorrow on Friday and then uh, Saturday and Sunday daytime streams, so starting starting at 10am uh, UTC so 
middle of the day for me. So uh, we'll continue with this fort, uh, of course, because there's no reason to stop at the moment, and because uh, uh, we do want to train a proper military and go after the goblins that are surrounding us to uh, probably go to war against them. But uh, probably before that, we need to prepare the trap corridors to take the goblins in as well, and not just uh, cavern dwellers. But uh, anyway, lots to lots to do. So. Uh, Hopefully we get a lot of that done uh, done this weekend. But with that said, for all of you, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.